بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah the most compassionate most merciful successful indeed are the believers those who humble themselves in prayer those who avoid idle talk those who pay alms tax those who guard their chastity except with their wives or those born women in their possession for them they are free from blame but whoever seeks beyond that are the transgressors the believers are also those who are true to their trusts and covenants and those who are properly observant of their prayers these are the ones who will be awarded paradise as their own they will be there forever and indeed we created humankind from an extract of clay then placed each human as a sperm drop in a secure place then we developed the drop into a clinging clot of blood then developed the clot into a lump of flesh then developed the lump into bones then clothed the bones with flesh then we brought it into being as a new creation so blessed is allah the best of creators after that you will surely die then on the day of judgment you will be resurrected and indeed we created above you seven levels of heaven we are never unmindful of our creation we send down rain from the sky in perfect measure causing it to soak into the earth and we are surely able to take it away with it we produce for you gardens of palm trees and grape vines in which there are abundant fruits and from which you may eat as well as olive trees which grow at mount sinai providing oil and a condiment to eat and there is certainly a lesson for you in cattle from whose bellies we give you milk to drink and in them are many other benefits for you and from them you may eat and you are carried upon some of them and upon ships indeed we sent noah to his people he declared o my people worship allah alone you have no god other than him will you not then fear him but the disbelieving chiefs of his people said to the masses this is only a human like you who wants to be superior to you had allah willed we could have easily sent down angels instead We have never heard of this in the history of our forefathers. He is simply insane. So bear with him for a while. Noah prayed, "My Lord, help me, because they have denied me." So we inspired him, build the ark under our watchful eyes and directions. Then when our command comes and the oven bursts with water, take on board a pair from every species along with your family, except those against whom the decree of drown has already been passed and do not plead with me for those who have done wrong for they will surely be drowned then when you and those with you have settled in the ark say all praise is for allah who saved us from the wrongdoing people and pray my lord allow me a blessed landing for you are the best accommodator surely in this are lessons and we always put people to the test then we raised another generation after them and sent to them a messenger from among themselves declaring worship allah alone you have no god other than him will you not then fear him but the chiefs of his people who disbelieved denied the meeting with allah in the hereafter and were spoiled by the worldly luxuries we had provided for them said to the masses this is only a human like you he eats what you eat and drinks what you drink and if you ever obey a human like yourselves then you would certainly be losers does he promise you that once you are dead and reduced to dust and bones you will be brought forth alive impossible simply impossible is what you are promised there is nothing beyond our worldly life we die others are born and none will be resurrected he is no more than a man who has fabricated a lie about allah and we will never believe in him the messenger prayed my lord help me because they have denied me allah responded soon they will be truly regretful then the mighty blast overtook them with justice and we reduced them to rubble so away with the wrong doing people then we raised other generations after them no people can advance their doom 
nor can they delay it. Then we sent our messengers in succession. Whenever a messenger came to his people, they denied him. So we destroyed them, one after the other, reducing them to cautionary tales. So away with the people who refused to believe. Then we sent Moses and his brother Aaron with our signs and compelling proof to Pharaoh and his chiefs, but they behaved arrogantly and were a tyrannical people. They argued, Would we believe in two humans like ourselves, whose people are slaves to us? So they rejected them both, and so were among those destroyed. And we certainly gave Moses the scripture, so perhaps his people would be rightly guided. And we made the son of Mary and his mother a sign, and gave them refuge on high ground, a suitable place for rest with flowing water. O messengers, eat from what is good and lawful, and act righteously. Indeed, I fully know what you do. Surely, this religion of yours is only one, and I am your Lord. So fear me alone. Yet the people have divided it into different sects, each rejoicing in what they have. So leave them, O prophet, in their heedlessness for a while. Do they think, since we provide them with wealth and children, that we hasten to honor them with all kinds of good? No, they are not aware. Surely, those who tremble in awe of their Lord, and who believe in the revelations of their Lord, and who associate none with their Lord, and who do whatever good they do with their hearts fearful, knowing that they will return to their Lord, it is they who raise to do good deeds, always taking the lead.